Stitches from Animal Crossing. Yes, today I'm turning him into a cake. Hi everyone, my name is Molly Shannon. Welcome to Koali Pops. Let's get started. How is everybody's hair doing in quarantine? Two more weeks, I'm gonna look like Mowgli from Jungle Book. Hi everyone, it's Mowgli. Welcome to Wallet Bobs. So I decided to create Stitches from Animal Crossing. He is my second favorite character, but he's not a villager on my island. I don't know how to get him. He's really cool though. I hope one day he's a camper. Fingers crossed. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comments which Animal Crossing character you'd like to see me create next. Now to create stitches, I'm starting with an 11 by 7 inch rectangular cake. It's a funfetti cake that I dyed blue. And just like Judy, I'm going to be cutting out the same shape. My kawaii bay cake shape. I've created a ton of characters in this shape and style. If you want to see some awesome superhero cakes, then just look on my channel. Oh, I'm digging this color. The funfetti looks so good against the blue. Now we've got some buttercream going in the middle and I'm just going to repeat the process that I did with Judy. Now if you are a fan of Judy, I do have a Judy cake on this channel. I really like her as a villager. There's a couple villagers. There's this like sheep clown thing. I don't talk to that guy. <laughs> But Judy, I make sure I talk to Judy every day. Oh, and also, I know a lot of people who don't play Animal Crossing will understand any of this, but I just lost $40,000 in turnips. Sometimes you play the stock market and you lose. That's just how it happens. I'm curious, have you guys been playing Animal Crossing a lot during quarantine? I've been playing it every day, almost like nonstop. Like, I didn't even want to film this video because it cut into my gardening time. And I really need that golden rose, you know. Now in this video, I did want to highlight the ASPCA. So if you are home in quarantine and you need a buddy, go to the ASPCA, find yourself a good senior animal that you can foster. I think you could do chickens as well. I mean, if you want, that's not my cup of tea, but if you want a chicken in your house, that's all you. Let's get back to this cake. Now for stitches, I decided to cover him in some orange yellow fondant. What kind of fondant is this? It's like a carnival, carnival orange. Now I'm just adding layers on top of this because I thought it would be easier than having to like pull off some fondant. Then you get some of that icing on your fondant and you're just like, man, now I ruined my cake. So instead, I'm just adding thin layers of blue, green, almost like a tangerine orange, and just creating the rest of his look. Stitches is like the representation of a rock star on Animal Crossing. Everything about him screams like punk rock. And my favorite part about Stitches is his eyes. I just love that he has Stitches as eyes. It just, it just completes the look. And then my second favorite part is his t-shirt of stars. I wonder what his personality is like. I don't know how to get villagers except for them being campers. And I haven't encountered Stitches in the game. I just see him from all the promotional images. After I finished adding the stars to his shirt, my Stitches cake was complete. I love it, man. This cake shape really lends itself to Animal Crossing characters. Now I'm curious, what other Animal Crossing character would you like to see me create in this shape? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace.